have our overactive furnace prepared as soon as possible. Merry Christmas, ladies. So how'd you do? I think I did okay. I'm just glad exams are over. Yeah. I love Christmas. It's the best time of the year. Merry Christmas, Arthur. Gee, thanks. Hey, I got you something, too. It's exactly what you've always needed. The moment I saw it, I knew it was the perfect present. It sure is big. Just because it looks big doesn't mean it is big. You can't judge a book by its cover, you know. Was it expensive? Hey, when it's the perfect present, money's no object. That means it's expensive. Come on, Yick. Christmas has got nothing to do with money. Easy for you to say. You're rich. Why do you always bug me about being rich? It's true, isn't it? Ever since you won that lottery. Sure, but you don't have to remind me all the time. I can say what I want. And I say you're rich. Come on, Yick. You are rich. Okay, forget it. I won't give you a present then. Well, fine. I don't care about your dumb present. When's the furnace gonna be fixed? Yeah. It's my fault the part I requisitioned over a year ago hasn't arrived yet. So it's gonna stay hot like this? Good guess, goofball. Man, we've gotta have the weirdest janitor in history. Did you call me goofball? Don't worry, man. It's okay. That's the heat. We apologize for the problems with the heating system. We're doing everything we can, and I'm confident the temperature will return to normal very soon. What's wrong with your cousin? I don't know, but I'm gonna fix it. Come on, Arthur. You're supposed to be in a good mood. It's Christmas. I was in a good mood, until Yick went and ruined it. He called me rich. You are rich. That's not the point, okay? I hate being reminded all the time. But it's dumb to fight on the last day before the holidays. So tell him he started it. Go away, I'm busy. Why do you keep calling Arthur rich? He is rich. You know what bugs him. So what? Quit bugging me. Go away. It's supposed to be the season of peace and goodwill. Can't you at least talk to each other? Yeah, right. But you've been friends forever. Remember how you met? Hey, my man. Me, Artie. I'm showing him the ropes. How's it going, Artie? Uh, yeah. Arthur. It's Arthur. No Your class, Mr. Kobolowski. Well, see ya. Maybe later, okay? See you around. Thanks, Joey. Okay. Hey, guys, this is definitely not my clock. Oh, what? Oh, what? Oh, a broom head. Round four by the main entrance. Come on, Joey, let me out. Come on, this is. Hey, um, I'm gonna give you Miss Avery's class. 
Miss Avery, you must be in the same room. Um, do you know where it is? No, but it's gotta be somewhere. Maybe we can look for it together. Come on. That was a long time ago, and besides, he's changed. I'm not the one that's changed. But you've been friends ever since you came, Mr. Grassy. Sex robots? This is pornography. You want to see this, don't you? Yeah. I hear it's so hot, it'll fry your eyeballs. I'll call you as soon as I find out what time my mom's going. Uh, is it okay if some more people come watch? Sure. I wonder what swamp sex robots do exactly. I don't know. We'll find out. Yeah. <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> See ya. Don't watch it till I come back tonight. Okay, bye. Hey, yes. Yeah. way too long to stop over something that dumb. If he apologizes, I might talk to him. But he has to apologize. I'm not apologizing. Fine, then. Neither am I. Fine. Do have a minute. Thanks. So what do you do at Christmas, Maya? Jews don't have Christmas. We celebrate Hanukkah. Well, what happens to Hanukkah? Well, we like the Thank Lord. goodness that exam is finally over. Yeah. Yeah. Don't worry, you'll do fine. You always do well in math. Got the best mark last year. <laughs> last year I had time to study. Come on, a baby couldn't take up that much time. Are you kidding? You have to pay attention every minute. <laughs> you make her sound like a monster. She seems like one sometimes. I don't even know if I'm going to pass any of my exams. Oh, my marks are way down. I might flop. Oh, come on, you'll be fine. Don't worry. No way, Miss Straight A. Nelson. Miss oh, yes. Nelson, please report to Mr. Lawrence's office. Christine to the principal's office. That's me. Bye. Good luck. Good luck. Hey, Spike. How's that one? Fine. You won't even let me see her. Forget about the baby, man. Why? She's mine. I'm helping support her. Doesn't mean you have to worry about her all the time. Sure it does. She's half mine. Emma, Spike won't let me see her. Why not? I don't know. She just won't let me see her. Yeah. Come on, Yick. What about all the times he's helped you? Him? Help me? What times? What about when he lent you stuff in these papers? Mr. Yick, you. Who else? Listen, Mr. You, the disorganized. Your work is... How can I explain this to you so that you'll understand? There's ten seconds left. You're down by 50 points, and you don't seem to care. Kindly pay attention. Therefore, for next week, I would like to see clear essays, Always original me. essays. He hates me. He's so stupid. Always gives me the same crummy marks. Doesn't even read my stuff. Sure he does. No, he doesn't. He's got me stereotypes. I can hand in Einstein's paper and I still get a deer in there. What if we did an experiment? What sort of an experiment? Suppose I got you a paper from Radish's class last year. You could copy it and hand it in. And then we'd know if we marked you harder. Are you going to get a paper from last year? Well, Stephanie, it won't make a difference. As soon as he sees my name, he'll give me a bad mark. But it's worth a try. Cheers. Cheers. Hi. Hi. Do you have it? All right, a B plus. And finally, Mr. You the Disorganized. An A. An A minus, true, but an A nonetheless. Congratulations, Yick. Real improvement. Yeah, he was a big help. I got in trouble. But don't you see? This proves he's an unfair marker. The mark should be the same. He still thinks I'm dumb. He was so impressed I could do anything. Gave me too good a mark. 
Maybe you should talk to him about this. No way. Now everything's perfect. You gotta keep giving me Stephanie's papers. I was particularly interested in yours, Mr. Yu. Yes, I was quite taken by what you wrote. It was clear, lucid. Yes, I was impressed. Not as impressed as I was last year when I first read this paper. How did you get Stephanie Kay's paper? I'm waiting, Mr. Yu. I gave it to him, sir. I want a paper from both of you on why you did this and why it was wrong. You'll write that paper tonight during detention. Am I making myself understood? So, you were cheating. And remember what happened after we got caught? Detention before. This is so unfair. Missing basketball practice and everything. We did cheat. Whose side are you on? See if I help you practice basketball again. Well, at least I'm trying to play basketball. You're not trying. You're cheating. You're just using Mr. Radich as an excuse. I think it's genuinely a good paper, Yick. For real this time. An A paper. Thanks to me, you got the first good mark you ever had. Why are you getting off a Christmas Eve? I have no you know, idea. Spike's been gone a long time. Yeah. I wonder what Lawrence wanted her for. Hey, you don't think she flunked, do you? I hope no. not. So soon. Yeah. No way. She worked so hard. It won't be fair. Hey, there she is. She's got it's Emma. Oh, you're oh, you're seeing that. Yeah. Yeah. What's Emma doing here? Well, the girl that minds her in the day. Her dad got in an accident. Oh, no. Oh, he's okay. Oh, hey, there's Mike's baby. Care of Emma. Oh, I gotta go look at it. Me too. Me too. That's okay. Shane, aren't you coming? No. no. So big deal. I help you more than you help me. Oh, yeah, like when? Like when I taught you to play basketball? You call that teaching? I still didn't make the team. Oh, well, what about the time you had those dreams? What dreams? Uh, never mind. If it wasn't for me, you'd have a complex or something. for you all over. Uh, I was here. Uh, what's with the book? Uh, nothing. What's with you? You've been asking me lately. Sit down. I've been having these kind of weird dreams lately. So? Actually, really weird. Kind of where you wake up and you sort of, uh, leak. Oh, you mean a wet dream? Lots of people get them. Once a week. Once a week? I think I'm turning into a sex maniac. Maybe it's normal to have a lot of wet dreams. Wish I had somebody to talk to about this. What about your dad? I can't. I think I'm a pervert. I don't want to call Dr. Sally tonight. You've got to. She's only on once a week. I'll call next week. Don't be so chicken. You want to find out. Come on, this is your big chance. Necessarily better. 
You so ask. Relax. You no way, it's your just voice. Fine when the time comes. What if somebody recognizes my voice? Henry. Who's going to recognize your voice? Right Melanie and they listen to the show. Line. Hi, this is the sex show. I'm on. I'm on. Hello? Do you have a question? Hello? No, I've got a friend who's 12 years old. He gets a lot of wet dreams. Is he a pervert? I'm not a pervert. You're a chicken oh, is what you no, are. Well, you're a broomhead. I'm a broomhead. Let me stop. Oh, yeah. Wet dreams are very common for young guys. It's one of the first indications of puberty. So tell your friend he's perfectly okay. He's not a pervert. He's not an animal out of control. Wet dreams are the body's way of relieving sexual tension and sexual I would have called her anyways. I didn't need you. I still don't understand. What were the dreams about? Uh, it's not important. Yeah, well, what about the time I helped you get a date with Melanie? Hi, Arthur. Hi, Melanie. Hi. You like Melanie? Yeah, sort of. I like to ask her out. So ask her. Arthur, I can't. She might say no. She might say yes. You never know till you try. See you after band practice. Yeah, bye. Thanks, Arthur. Hi. Hey. Um, why didn't you ask her? I couldn't. Looks to me like you need some serious help from me. Tell me again how this will work. It'll put her in the mood. She can't say no after a compliment. You're the expert, I guess. Okay, one more practice. Okay. Your eyes are so blue. They remind me of swimming pools. I wouldn't worry about it. Those things <gasps> haven't been right yet. I guess so. Hi, Melanie. Hi, Ek. Your eyes are so blue, they seem like pimming swirls. I mean, um... Pimming tools? <laughs> <laughs> what? Pimming tools? <laughs> what was that all about? No. Broomhead? Yeah. She called that help? Give me a break. It was only when I stopped listening to you that she went out with me. And our thought for the holidays is goodwill. Yeah. You're a mighty mango. You know, like the ads on TV. Mm -hmm. And a 10-speed. The radio control the car. There's more to Christmas than just presents. Look at that. Me, though. Well, they are the best part. For me, the best part is seeing my grandparents. Yeah, I guess you're right. Snake. What? There's wheels. Poor guy. It's his first Christmas since his parents died. Let's go talk to him. Hey, Wheels. Merry Christmas. Hi, guys. Listen, um, I talked to my mom. If you want, you can come over for Christmas dinner. Uh, I'm having dinner with my grandparents. That's OK. They're invited, too. My grandpa's kind of old. So? So he kind of drools when he eats. Ugh. That's OK. It's Christmas. Anyone can drool if they want. Come on, my mom's making Cepe di Natale. It's really good. It's Italian. Sounds good. I'd go for it. OK, I'll ask my grandma. All right. <laughs> hey, did you see Spike's kid? Yeah, I seen it when I was going by. It's pretty cute, huh? Yeah. Where's Shane? He's right there, but he won't go up to her, man. Can I hold her? No. It's Spike, I've been helping you support her for four months. And every week I've been giving you half my allowance. Please? It's Christmas. Go on. I can't hurt. <sighs> OK, but only for a bit.
time you broke my vase. It wasn't valuable. So? You didn't know that. You still broke it. Yeah, well, you lied to me. And it was thanks to me your speech was good. Hey, Yick. I thought we were going to play basketball. Oh, I can't. I got to do research for my project. Research? Isn't it supposed to be about your family? Who wants to hear about being poor and living in a big house with about a million relatives? Just tell them about what happened before you got here. Who cares about refugees? I need something interesting. That's it. It's been in my family for thousands of years. It's very valuable. I forgot we had it. Dynasty, is it? Ming or Manchu. I don't know. Both, maybe. I think my father knows an antique dealer who could appraise it. Maybe later. my vase. Um, Come on, today's my speech. I need it. You wrecked it. It was an accident. I'm sorry. I'll pay for it. Great. Now I don't have anything to show. Just tell them how you and your family got here. Who cares about boat people? It's a great story. And it really happened. We were at sea for more than a month. We hardly had anything to eat. And we finally got to a safe port. But all we escaped with was our clothes. And that's why I don't have anything to show. Thank you. Thank you, Nick. It was truly excellent. On that note, class is dismissed. That was amazing. Well, it was your dumb idea to play Mr. Fix-It. I was only trying to help. You call that help? You're a broomhead. Yeah, well, you're a liar. Don't call me a liar. Why not? That's what you are. Liar. Broomhead. Liar. Broomhead. Liar. What's broomhead. wrong with you guys? It's supposed to be the season of peace and goodwill, and you're both acting like Scrooges. Look at all the stuff you've done together. Look at all the fun you've had. You even bought each other presents. If you want to ruin everything over something really dumb, you're both boneheads. I can't take much more of this heat. I'm burning up. I can't take it. Hey, there's Luella. Oh, great. Find out when the furnace is going to get fixed. Okay. Hey, Luella. Hmm? Did you fix the furnace yet? It's fixed. For the time being. All right. Hey, guys, Luella fixed the furnace. <laughs> Not bad for a woman. I think Dorothy's right. This is dumb. Yeah, it is. I'd still like you to have this. Thanks. I'd still like you to have this. Can I open it now? Sure, go ahead. I'll open mine too. I only spent a little on yours. All I could afford. It's embarrassing sometimes being poor. Yick, who cares how much you spend? Everyone knows it's the thought that counts. A calculator. For counting your money. This is it? Fooled you, didn't I? In my family, we always try and make it so you can't guess what it is. I still don't know what it is. It's a strap for holding up your glasses. A 
nice so you don't have to push them up all the time. What did this cost? Three bucks? So? I spent $14.95 on yours. It's the thought that counts, right? Great. Merry Christmas, Arthur. Happy holidays, broomhead. 